Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Terrapin. This is their Monster Beer Tour. This is their Hopzilla, which is a double IPA, India Pale Ale. And they're out of uh, Athens, Georgia. Uh, you may remember this beer as being part of their side project. This was number, this was in side project number 12, I think is what this one was. And now they've uh, decided, I guess they're doing to do it full time, it uh, jumped from a side project to a full time project. <laughs> uh, my notes uh, says it's a rotating schedule, so I don't know how often they're going to brew it. This is a big beer, 10.3% ABV. So uh, yesterday's beer was 8% and it was pretty damn tasty. And today's beer, 10.3%. So we're getting on up there in the Imperial range. So uh, a lot bigger beer. The uh, the food pairing for this is uh, cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. Uh, the meat for this is game, grilled meat, salmon. The glassware is a snifter, a tulip, oversized wine glass. I got the Dubel glass glass or Dubel glass. Uh, I like that because this type of glass enhances the aromas on these bigger beers and. I want to get my, get my big nose down in there and see what it smells like. Uh, I wouldn't recommend cellaring this beer. It's a 10.8%. It's going to keep for years and years and years. And this, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, if you want to drink this beer five, six years from, from now, it's still going to be a good beer, but it's going to lose, a, I would say, a significant hot profile that it has right now. So, with that being said, guys, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss. I don't think there's anything else on the bottle. It says Vintage 2012 right here. Uh, I, I don't guess there's any more pertinent information that you need to know. Uh, I kind of like to have the month on an IPA, but they're considering, since it's a 10.3, if you're drinking it the same year it was made, I guess that's good enough. So I kind of like to have the month, guys. So uh, You ain't got to give me the day. Just give me the month and the year, and I'll make my own judgment from that. What do you think, guys? You with me on that? You with me? Or are you against me? Let's get it in a glass. Well, this is pouring very light colored for a 10.3%. I was expecting it to be just a little bit darker than that. So. And it's definitely not bottle conditioned. It's fairly clear. It's got a slight chill haze on it. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. And it doesn't look to be too overly carbonated. It's not got a lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. There are a few. I mean, it's not flat or anything, but it didn't pour a monster head, and it doesn't seem to be like champagne or anything. It's uh, it's got a sufficient amount of carbonation to it. Let's put it that way. It's a 10.3 percent. It's not going to foam off the top usually on that type of beer that much uh, alcohol. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm getting, I'm getting some mangoes and apricots, pineapple. Wow, smells very pleasant. This, uh, this is 110 IBUs on this beer, so very bitter. Supposedly, let's we'll see if they've got the malt to match the bitterness on this one. And they use 100% Maris Outer Malt. And that's a fairly light malt, and that's why you're going to get that light of a color. I've not brewed a beer this big with that much of a light malt. A lot of the beers that I brew, once they get above 7, 8, even 9%, uh, the malt that I use, uh, the darker malts, uh, have a, a darker color than this is going to be. I'm going to try to, to brew me a 10% a beer that, that this clear, as far as being the color I've not done one with that much ABV that's just light in color, so 
Very nice. Not a lot of bubble streaming up from now, so let's get a nose on it, guys. It's wonderful. Wow. Let's give it a taste. To me, that has got a really nice balance between the hot bitterness and that big of a beer at a 10.3, 10.8, 10.8 percent. I'm not gonna lie to you; it, it does have some alcohol taste to it, but it it is not. I've tasted eight percent beers that had more booziness than this. Oranges. Just a little bit of lemon. The mangoes and the tropical, the fruit. Pineapple. It's more present to me. Wow. That is very nice, guys. If you can get Hopzella and you're a hop head, this is a little bit on the bigger side of the 10.8% as opposed to the 8% that we did yesterday. Wow, well, but it is awesome. This would probably be one of the, the final beers of the evening type beers, so one you can sip on. So, And that's what I'm going to do to this one. Well, it smells wonderful, guys. Stick around. I'm going to have the other half sip some of this, and we'll be back and do the final chug and grade on this one, but it's a winner. I'm a hop head. You know it's going to be a winner when Terrapin does it. Uh, I've not been disappointed with just with anything they've done. I can't think of a single beer that I haven't liked that they've done. So they do good work, guys. Guys at Terrapin, thumbs up. Be right back. Let's see what Justin does. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left. Been sipping on this for a while now. And, wow, this is delicious. I'm a hop head, and I liked it the first time I had it around uh, when it was the side project, but. To me, it tastes a little sweeter. My palate's probably developed a little more since I had this the first time. But this is awesome as far as I'm concerned. It's definitely an A beer. Wow. Now, alcohol is definitely more present now that it's warmed up. Of course, that's the way it always is. But it, I, don't, I don't get so much of it in the taste, though. But considering it's a 10, 10 10.8% beer. Wow. Very nice, very very well done. Final chug, guys. Wow, that's awesome, guys. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. It is it is delicious. Yeah, I like this. I like this very well. I like to have the month on there, just not this the year. But years better than nothing, I guess, or some kind of screwy code you got to go to look up. Uh, Rate Beer has 99 overall in this and 93 in the style, guys. So pretty impressive marks on from them. Wow. That's a tasty beer. I'm going to see if I can pick up some more of that. And I only got one, so I'm going to try to get a six pack next time I go up. The, uh, the, the re review for Beer Advocate comes up with 89, which is in the good range for them. So, uh, I'm not surprised by that. Uh, that's actually uh, into the good range is actually their their better marks. So everybody else is usually a little higher than what they have. So they they've cut their marks back. Uh, you know that they're just a little low key compared to what everybody else is right now. Guys, it's in the winter as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Uh, I enjoyed the shit out of this one. This is very delicious. I'm planning on getting some more of this. I'm a hop head. You know that. I got a bunch of it growing in the backyard here, guys. Hey. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. Hope you can join me then. Hey, if you need an opener, you know what to do. Shirts are back here. Give me a shout. See you tomorrow.